Hi, this is Alan Gilbert, Technical Specialist with Autodesk, and this is the final video in our series of custom sub-assemblies for overlay and widening. As shown in our last video, we were able to get our new assembly with our new custom sub-assembly and also a standard shoulder sub-assembly attached. We got these working correctly and we're in the quarter section editor checking the slopes and everything looked good. So for the last video I just wanted basically to review how to get these in the sections and the process for computing the materials and especially if you needed a structural volume out of that wedge. So for long time civil 3D users this will this is very easy for you to do but I wanted to to let this go full circle for those that I may not be as familiar with Civil 3D. So I've got a corridor called Wedge. I could, if I needed my top surface for earthworks, I could go ahead and go into the corridor surface area and create my top surface because that's what I set my links up to do. There again, set up my top surface. I could add a boundary. And now my top surface would be available inside the section views if I'd like that too. So I could actually get surface to surface earthwork volumetrics. That could be the goal here. I'm going to focus on the structural volumes for more like the wedge structure. But you just as easy to use a similar technique to compute the earthworks. The first thing is we have to get these into the section view, which we have here. I like to personally just go to the sample line. So I've already pre-built a sample line. If you haven't done that, you just come up here and create a sample line. You can do a group of sample lines. So that's where you want to cut your sections. But I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to group properties or sample more sources. It's the same thing. But I'm going to go to group properties just so I can see everything. And so right now I have the existing ground display. I'm going to sample more sources. I'm going to hit the wedge and the wedge top surface. And so for the top surface, I'm going to pick finished ground. And for the wedge corridor, I'm going to pick codes with labels. So again, we could use these two to compare for earthworks, and I can use this one by itself for structural volumes. So let's hit OK. So you can see there's my corridor showed up. Proposed surfaces under here also for the finished ground. But it's just, I just did the top surface, so it's just a few vertexes there, nothing fancy. So now, how would we get that structural volume count? I'm going to go back to my sample line and I'm going to go to group properties. This time I'm going to go to material list. I'm going to add a new material. I'll just call it wedge. Quantity type is structural. Now if I was doing my earthwork, I would pick earthworks and select my two surfaces. But let's start with structures. And now what structure do I want to compute? Well, I want to find a corridor shape. And notice here it's picking up the pave 1, pave 2 base and sub base from the shoulder buildup. It had four buildups in that shoulder piece. Here's my wedge overlay that I created in my custom subassembly. So I can actually use this material list to combine things. So I can have pave and pave one go into the same bucket. I could have overlay and pave and pave, pave one and pave two all go into the same bucket to compute. That's the great thing about this command is you can compute however you'd like, combine or not combine. Let's say in this case, we're just gonna do the overlay by itself for that wedge. I just want to to find out what that wedge is. So I can hit apply, close. And so it computed average end area. And again, I only have one section here, so I'm not going to get volumes. But just for this one particular section, it computed this shape. So to see that, I can go and do a generate volume report. Pick my material list. I'll pick which style sheet. We'll do select material. And there, I just had one, so I'm not getting volumes because I just had one station. But there's my square footage for that particular wedge. And so now if we wanted to do earthwork, 
I can click on the sample line, go to group properties, and I could add to this material list or let's just pretend we started from scratch. Change that to earthworks. Pick my two surfaces. This is why I built the top surface from the wedge. So it'll show up as available, right? It has to be in that sample line group. And I pick which one is compare. The top will be compare. And hit apply or OK. Now the earthwork calculation is stored in here. So when I run a report on earthwork, I'll get it. I don't really have enough to have a good earthwork. It'll be the exact same because this is following the surface and it stops here. But now if I had a side slope on here coming down to catch this fill slope, I would find whatever volume was underneath that. So this concludes the series on custom subassemblies for overlay and widening.